It's a beautiful place, especially in the springtime, April and May. It turns an emerald green, especially about the middle of May. And I don't think there's anything as beautiful as the wildflowers are out and the oak trees come out and it's, uh, everything's green. This is a typical ranch in Humboldt County. And by typical, I mean that we raise livestock as well as harvest timber. I am much more intimately familiar with the livestock part of our business enterprise. That's really where I spend my time. Mark and our son and our son-in-law spend most of their time on the timber side of our ranch. It works out well with the timber and cattle because the, both markets fluctuate, go up and down over time. And we've been fortunate that when one market was down, the other market was up. One of the things that we've recognized was this particular ranch is really able to provide an income source for about 1.5 families. As our kids got older, we looked around to see what it was that we could do to allow our children to stay here on the ranch and make a living. And the opportunity that we had was to get into the timber harvest business. Not only our timber, but we also logged for other neighbors as well. It has allowed us the opportunity to expand so that we are able to provide an income for our son and our son-in-law. So we work really hard at keeping our timber harvesting equipment business active the whole season in order to make sure that we have a business structure that provides them with an income. One of the things that we did to really help our educational process in growing timber was hire a really good consultant. I've learned a tremendous amount from our registered professional forester. He's as important to me as our accountant or our financial advisor. We've now been all over the ranch logging for our second time, the first time through. We took out the timber with conch, broken tops, kinks, and crooks. So what we've tried to do is leave our best growing stock for the future. And I equate that, you know, kind of like raising cattle. Every year we save a, a certain percentage of female calves as replacements, and we save the very best so that our herd is always improving. I look at the timber the same way. We try to leave the best trees so that our stands are always improving. Our working life here kind of runs in yearly cycles. Right now we're in the springtime. We're getting ready to uh, brand our calves. We've determined where we're gonna log. Every tree that we harvest is marked with paint by our forester. Next thing we do is we get our timber fallers in there. One of the most important things about doing a good job is not damaging the trees that you leave. You, you wanna get the, the trees that you're gonna log out, but you wanna make sure that your growing stock is in good health. That starts with your timber fallers so that they're following the trees so that when you take the heavy equipment in there that you can easily extract the logs without banging up your standing trees. After the timber fallers have been in there, we've got two pieces of skidding equipment. We have a track skidder with a swing boom. He'll go in and he'll bunch logs into groups that depend on how big they are, but anywhere from three to six logs. We then have a wheel skidder that will come and pick up those bunches and bring them to the landing. That's where I work is on the landing, I'm the loader operator. And then I'll sort the logs. I'll sort them into long logs, short logs. Sometimes I have to sort them by species. This fall when we get done harvesting our timber, we'll go back in and replant. We put, replant about 5,000 trees a year. We do a lot of annual planting of trees and we're looking at bringing in some new species of redwoods to be able to enhance what we are growing and perhaps enhance the value of that timber as it matures. I grew up here. I'm the fifth generation to live here. One of the overriding goals that I have in my life is to be a good steward of the land and to be able to pass it on to the next generation in as at least good a condition as I received it from my parents or even better to my children.